Hello, hello. Welcome to Deep Soul Tarot. Hope everyone's doing well. What's today? Today's Thursday. So I'm doing daily reads. I'm trying to keep doing the daily reads. And um, today is Thursday Thoughts. So we're going to do just a general freestyle read and see what spirit has to say for all of us out there. This is a general read, so it may not resonate with everyone. But take what resonates, leave what doesn't. <clears throat> Even if it doesn't seem to resonate in the very beginning, I always uh, suggest to watch the whole video because many times there's things in the video that may not be apparent in the beginning, may not resonate, but as the reading goes on, something may resonate. So hopefully it does. So, okay, I've already pre-shuffled the cards and meditated on the cards. So I'm going to get this rolling so we can get those Thursday thoughts out. Feeling the energy. Spirit says three shuffles. Three shuffles. Okay. Thursday thoughts. Let's see what spirit has for us to think about today. And like I said, this is a daily general collective read. All right. Okay, spirit. What do you have for us today? February 6, 2020. All right. Okay, here we go. Let's see what Spirit has for us. I think that card wants to come out. More pulls. I don't know how many cards. I have my eyes closed, so I don't know. There we go. Let's do one more pull. See if Spirit has anything else to say. No? All right. Let's start with the general energy, which is the Five of Pentacles. All right. First thing I noticed, or actually I saw this color before I started. I do meditation. I pre-shuffle the cards, but I do a meditation before I begin and I had already seen blue, and here's the blue in the card. So, somebody feels left out in the cold. For whatever reason, feeling left out of the cold, but underneath that is the emperor. So we'll see what that, what that signifies, but it, the emperor is a very, it's a masculine energy. Now, these reads are not gender specific, so uh, regardless of whom's in the picture, if it's a male energy, a masculine energy, or a female energy, feminine, um, it's not gender specific. So, it, you know, whoever's watching this doesn't mean it's male or female. Um, but the emperor is a masculine energy, and we, we both have feminine and masculine energies in us. But I'm feeling with these together... You've been left out. I think it's you. I feel like it's you that's been left out in the cold. I mean, you may have left someone out in the cold. As I say, take it as it resonates. Whatever, um, if that resonates for you, then that's what this is meant to say. But I'm feeling it's you that's been left out in the cold. And with the emperor, it's just made you stronger. It's made you realize that you are a very independent person and can handle things on your own. Emperor is the ruler over his kingdom. He's the king of all kings. So it uh, doesn't, uh, depending on, or it doesn't depend. So every person um, seems to relate better to either a masculine or feminine energy, regardless of gender. Um, I'm a female. I'm more masculine. But sometimes I can resonate with both. Um, so what this is saying is regardless, tap, regardless if you're male or female, tap into your masculine energy, which is, um, very logical, handles, handles decisions based more on logic and analytics 
than uh, emotion. Not to say emperors don't have emotion, but it's just saying, and underneath that is the high priestess. So there's some, I'm going to say mystery. But how, what I feel here is, um, is that you're not seeing it quite yet. I don't think you're feeling left out in the cold. And that has consumed your thoughts, but you don't realize how much stronger it's making you. So keep that in mind, that you may be going through something where you've um, just not in a good place. That may not even be that someone left you out in the cold. Maybe you just feel left out in the cold. Maybe that's just the way you're feeling. Regardless, it doesn't mean that somebody did it to you. That's just how you feel. And with that emperor, you will come out stronger because of this. Somehow you've either isolated yourself or um, maybe you're off by yourself. Maybe you feel lonely. Yeah, so maybe someone's not communicating with you like they used to. Whatever the case may be. But just know that whatever this is you're going through, it's going to make you stronger in the long run. You really have a control, a sense of control over it without even realizing it. And with the high priestess underneath that, um, the high priestess is a mystery and only divulges things when she wants you to know it. So maybe you just don't know yet. And it's, it's, you will realize at some point, wow, I came out a stronger person. So this has happened for a reason. This is happening for a reason. Okay. So we had, I had just a few cards come out. Um, uh, two face up, uh, looks like three face down. And how I read these is the face up cards are what's on the surface Face down is what's underlying the issue or under with internally within yourself, not so apparent on the outside. But what I love about these two cards that came face up, going exactly with, I didn't even see these cards, going with what I just said. And we'll start with the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is a very, very powerful woman. She knows what she wants and she knows how to get it. And again, um, now the Emperor is masculine energy. The queen is feminine energy. So it's like you're tapping into both of these. The queen of wands is very passionate about whatever it is that she wants. There's a whole, there's a lot of passion. Uh, the emotion, the passion is fueled by emotion. It's something that she feels very strong. She or he, it's a feminine energy, but again, not gender specific. So uh, if your male's out there, don't be offended. <laughs> Um, anyways, um, she is a very powerful woman. So what this is saying is by being left out in the cold or being separated from something or feeling that way, that the queen of wands is saying that step into your power because by this happening, it's making you more powerful in the long run. And the 10 of pentacles is abundance. It's learning the lessons, mastering Whatever it is, gaining the benefits from that. It's just, there's you know growth. There's just uh, abundance in every sense of the way. Okay? So it's, it's, it's a very strong energy. So although the Five of Pentacles is cold, so it's like the feel, feeling left out in the cold. Again, it's not that you have been. It's very possible that you just feel left out in the cold. And, um feel isolated from a person, a situation, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you are. So regardless, regardless of what the situation is, step into your power. You've got control. You've got this. You've got, you can got, you've got control of this without realizing it. Excuse me. All right. So the face down cards, what's underlying this issue, which again may be internally inside of you or underneath the situation that is not apparent necessarily. We have the world. Well, let me do it this way. There's the moon, the magician, and the world. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. The moon is... Okay. 
the moon is about illusions. All right. The moon is about being in the dark. And so what I'm hearing here, straight up, what I'm hearing here. For some of you, the moon is saying that being left out in the cold is an illusion. It's an illusion. It's not really the case. It's how you're perceiving it. You're in the dark. You don't really realize that for whatever reason you feel like you're left out in the cold, but it's not necessarily true. And eventually, it'll be illuminated. It will light up. You will see. You will see. You're in the dark right now, but you will see in the long run that that wasn't actually the case. And the magician here <clears throat> is saying that you're manifesting. So whatever it is that you're doing, you have all the tools to manifest what you want. I hope I have this in centered. Okay, I do. Um... Let me take a look at the moon and the magician together here. Just a minute. I want to see the energies. Again with the blue. And with the magician, the magician has all the elements. You have all the elements. You have the wands, the cups, the swords, and the pentacle. But what I first, what drew my attention was the green behind the magician and the pentacle in the front. So this is a brand new beginning of some sort. But I see a lot of growth. I see a lot of growth. Green can also be the heart chakra. So maybe it's emotional growth. Whatever it is, you're manifesting something. You don't see it right now. You don't see it. You're being illusioned by the thought of being left out in the cold. But underneath... Um, you are manifesting something. And what I'm hearing is manifest the thoughts. There are no swords here, which is usually about thoughts and communication. And I'm going to clarify, so we'll see what comes up. But you're manifesting this. And I keep hearing growth. Keep it towards the positive because... What you think manifests in your life. So if you think negative, it's going to attract negative to you. If you think positive, the positive will come to you. And I know it's easier said than done. Believe me, I know that. I learn that lesson every single day. I have waves of ups and downs. Um, and I'm a water sign. I'm a cancer on the cusp of Leo. So I can go from being fine and then it's not too bad but you know I will have my downs and when I'm down I'm really down and it doesn't happen a lot <clears throat> and I have a lot of fire and air in my chart so I don't get too bogged down by emotion I'm not a typical cancer but still but still I am a water sign like I said on the cusp of Leo so sometimes it's hard for me to think rationally so I have to remind myself believe me there's a lot of things that have gone on that keep blocking me. This is a fairly new channel, and I'm trying to do videos. There's constant blockages, constantly. And there have been days when I've just like, you know, I can't do this because this has happened or this has happened. But I love doing this. This channel is a passion of mine. Um, I've always wanted to do a YouTube channel. And this isn't about me, but it's just the point that there's been so many blockages and letdowns that it's it's gotten to a point where it was very difficult for me to continue but I realized that this is what I want to do this is my passion and I want to share the messages with whoever watches and needs this message so uh, I, I'm doing it anyways <laughs> so anyway so you manifest manifest what you want think positive thoughts don't let these, this illusion of being left out in the cold stop you. Because at the end of this is the world. And the world is absolutely... And we have a, a full moon coming on Saturday. The 8th? 6th, 7th? Yeah, Saturday. Uh, I will be doing a full moon read tomorrow. Because I can't do readings on the weekends. Because, as I say in all my videos, I have roommates. I share a room with someone. And it's too hard for me to do... Uh, to get quiet and, and to be able to concentrate. So I'm going to do it on Friday. Um... 
but the world, the world is the cycle is complete. And it's just like the cycles of the moon, you know, uh, the moon affects the, the ebb and flow and the tides of the ocean as it does affect us as individuals in the in third dimension. So you have the darker new moon here and it's like you've made a full circle of the full moon here and the full moon's coming. So what I'm hearing here is this is a brand new, you finish the cycle. So here's a brand new beginning. So being left out in the cold, whatever that is that's, that resonates for you, that fits in your situation, the world is telling you that the cycle is complete and it's time for a whole new beginning. There's a mask on. The mask is going to come off. Right now you just can't see. But the two wands, or I don't know if those are swords or wands, the batons, we'll say batons, that the person is carrying here is balanced is balancing the person. It's on one, this person is on one leg. So you're standing in a very solid position right now, and you may not realize it. So being left out in the cold doesn't necessarily mean that, well, I'm going to say that it isn't a good thing straight up because it's, it's making you a stronger person, a powerful person. You're going to get what you want at the end, but you just can't see it because of the, the illumination. I mean, the, the illumination, the illusion of the moon, the darkness of the moon. You have this illusion that it's just not going to work out or um, you're, in, you're going to be left out in the cold, always left out in the cold. And it's just a perception. It's not actually happening because this is what's underneath, right? On the outside, you know, um, they're saying step into your power. Whatever's going on externally in your world, step into your power. Take what is rightfully yours, so to speak. You know? Maybe you work very hard at something. You know? It could even be a job. Maybe you work very hard at a job, wanted a promotion or something, wanted a project, and somehow they picked somebody else. And now you feel left out in the cold. Like, I put in all this work. I did what I had to do. Don't worry. Don't worry. Because what I'm hearing is if it's that, something better is coming along. You've got, you've got control over this. All right. Let's clarify a little here. Just a little bit. So I'm going to try to do daily reads. And I kind of, I don't know, yesterday was Wednesday Wisdom. I kind of like the idea of having like a little theme. So today was Thursday Thoughts. So basically, you know, take these thoughts, digest them a little bit, think about it, think about it, you know. These messages aren't about telling you what to do, it's giving you guidance. So you can, like yesterday, Wednesday Wisdom, get a little wisdom out of them, today's Thursday Thoughts. Take those thoughts, you do with them what you will. Um, it may not completely resonate. Like I said, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, and hopefully, it's, it's somehow in there, it'll help you in your situation, whatever it may be. All right, let's get some clarification here, Spirit. All right. Okay, Spirit. I'm going to do these by section here. So let's do the Queen of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles first. Because that's what's on the surface. Right, Spirit, what can you tell me about the energy? The Queen of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. And whoa! That's too many cards, but I will take these. <laughs> that was pretty much half the deck. Let me fix the cards so they're not all musty. All right, we have... Justice and the Queen of Pentacles. This is my little mini Rider Waite deck, which I usually take with me if I do readings, you know, away from home. Um, I like these cards because when I clarify, I don't like the cards to be overpower the larger cards, so I like to use the small ones. Um, I hope you can see them okay. Um, Justice and the Queen of Pentacles. Whatever the situation is, the truth, this, this is a sword, and the sword is all about... Uh, truth, 
uh, communication and thoughts, but it's this, in this case, it's about the truth. Justice will be served. See the scales over here? It's all going to balance out. And the Queen of Pentacles, you have two Queen energies. Here's the feminine Queen of, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. So step into your power. Get creative about what it is that you want. I'm hearing that it's not a simple cut and dry situation. So you have to be creative about how to get what you want. But the Queen of Wands, as I said, is very powerful. She knows what she wants and she knows how to get it. And that's your energy. But you're going to also have to stay grounded and be patient, which is what the Queen of Pentacles is about. The Queen of Pentacles um, is a very loyal person and nurturing in a way. So you're going to have to balance out, and that's what I think the justice is here. You're going to have to balance out um, these two energies because you don't want to get too overbearing with your passion. Not saying that you would be or are, but just have a little patience. Because the Queen of Pentacles... The Queen of Pentacles is she's focused. She knows exactly what she wants. She's willing to take the necessary steps to get it done. And the Queen of Wands will get it done. Or she knows people how to help her get it done. So the Queen of Pentacles is just slow and steady. It may not come as fast as you would like. Queen of Wands energy. Queen of Wands energy. Those wands are about passion and fire, let me tell you. But the Pentacles is more grounded and stable. Which is a good energy because you're not too eager. And not too laid back or too um, calculated where it's not getting done. You know, sometimes if you, you wait around for it to happen, something's, something's got to uh, move forward. All right? On the bottom of the deck is, oh my God, the Queen of Wands. The, the, I mean, the King of Wands. The King of Wands. Now, let me just say, I'm going to take this off and I'm going to put it back in. With the, and I don't know if anybody is familiar or in the twin flame journey i am so this isn't necessarily a love reading but you have the two counterparts here and the queen to me is the divine feminine the king is the divine masculine so that could very well again be the energy within you the king of wands is very much a free spirit so, I'm thinking that it's time for you to step out either on your own. Maybe you're in a job and you're not getting any recognition and you feel left out in the cold. Like, I'm putting all this work in and maybe you're in a project with people or something, like I said. Something in that respect. Or even in a relationship. It doesn't seem like it's balanced. I'm putting, putting this effort in, this passion for it. And the King of Wands is saying... Or the King of Wands is, is the energy is maybe it's time for you to step out and do something on your own. Maybe it's time for you to either be on your own. Maybe it's time for you to do your own uh, work. Work for yourself. Right? Whatever the case may be. Um, I'm going to do these individually. Let's do the Moon card. What is the energy of the Moon card, please, Spirit? I think these all, because it's underlined, they each have their own. End of, oh, yeah. Okay. Something has definitely hurt you. Being left out in the cold has definitely hurt you with the Ten of Swords. Very, very hurt. Devastating, actually. But you're in the dark again. And it's an illusion of... I'm never going to get this opportunity again. I'm never going to get a love like this again. That kind of feeling. But with the moon card, again, it's only an illusion. We can really, our minds can really mess with us and fool with us. And if the devil card comes out, I'm going to freak out. Because <laughs> that's what that is. That's devil energy. Um, but the moon card is saying that although you feel this way, you may, be in, you may be in the dark. You don't see because you're so hurt and feel so left out in the cold that you're not seeing that it's an illusion. And eventually, the sun will come out. 
you know, with the moon, the sun always comes out the next day. Even if there are clouds in the sky, the sun is there. You just can't see it. You just can't see it. And then, so that's what I'm hearing. Just because you can't see the sun doesn't mean it's not there. Right? And you will be illuminated at some point. All right. Because there's a celebration on the bottom, the Three of Cups. There will be celebration. It's just, you just can't see it right now. You're stuck in being hurt, feeling left out in the cold, and being illusion, uh, having an illusion of being by yourself and alone. It's not, it's not, you know, being alone isn't always a bad thing. That's, that can be very liberating. And realizing that you can do this on your own. It's nice to have people in your life. It's nice to have a relationship. But you don't have to have it because just, so that the world knows I can do this on my own. I would love to have you as a part of my journey. But if you don't want to be there, if you don't want to be a part of it, that's fine. I'll do it myself. Right? All right. What is the energy, please, spirit of the magician? What are we trying to manifest here? Well, those who need this message, what are they trying to manifest or what do they need to manifest? What can you tell me about the energy? Of the magician. <laughs> what did I say? What did I say? Hmm? Don't tell me. The cards don't lie. Don't tell me. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. Don't do this to yourself. The devil is messing with you. The devil is messing with your mind. The devil can be about other things like addictions and obsession. And this may apply in that respect for you. I don't know. Uh, but I'm hearing these are negative thoughts. Negative thoughts. It's an illusion. This is not true. The devil's messing with your mind. Putting these. So what I'm hearing here with the man. By manifesting the negative thoughts. If you keep those negative thoughts in your head. It's going to manifest. Well, it's going to. I'm not saying it's going to manifest negative, but it's going to be hard to manifest positive if you're stuck in negative thoughts. It's hard to move forward. You know, it could, maybe the devil is even depression. Many of us go through that kind of energy or depression or feeling so low that it's hard to move forward. Don't let the devil do that to you. Don't do this to yourself. Don't do this to yourself. And if you look, they're chained, but... It's a loose chain. You can get away. You can get away from that. You can get away. Don't let the devil do that to you. That's just not, that's not good. No. And I knew it. And there's the three of cups again. Let that devil energy go and you will have re reason for celebration, whatever it may be. Because, you know, leave the past in the past. Move forward because there's always room for more things to enter your life once you let something go. All right, that card wanted to pop. I almost took it, but let me see if it comes out. I peeked at what it was. It was the moon card, y'all. So I'm hearing that the illusions are just clouding your vision of any type of future. Don't let the devil dictate to you. Oh, so this is the world card, okay. And we'll just, one, there's, it came out again. I'm telling you, I put it back in. And you, ah, <laughs> one fell on the floor. <laughs> All right, I'm going to hold these two cards up. This is for the energy of the world card. So you have the moon and the knight of cups. The moon, again, illusions. I'm not even going to reiterate that because you can see here the cycles. Once, once this new moon happens, and we'll see what comes in the collective tomorrow. Once this new moon comes, I mean full moon. Sorry, sorry, full moon, full moon. <laughs> uh, get my moon's mixed up. Once this full moon comes, you're going to flip off that mask. You're going to be doing some sort of, looks like she's about ready to dance. It's all going to balance out, and you're going to realize you won't be in the dark anymore. And I feel like that is, um, that's what's going to make a difference. Move forward. And the Knight of Cups, same thing. Move forward. Take your cup, yourself love fill your own cup take it forward the knight of cups can very well mean a love offer but i'm feeling that be your own knight in shiny armor you know again not gender specific just you know be your own savior 
Be your own knight. Knight in shining armor. Um, and that's masculine energy, yes. But fill your own cup. Right? Wow, 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 wow. Fill your own cup. I just, in the bottom of the deck? Yes. See? See, see, see. <sighs> Again, you're in the dark. There's the little moon. <laughs> um, you're in the, so, calm yourself. There's calm waters back here. There's emotion. But don't let the, the emotions rule your decision. Don't let those illusions. You're blindfolded. You know, you're split. Don't. That's, the, that's actually the energy. What's underneath that? Yes. Yes. See the, the two of swords, the indecision, or not wanting to make any type of decision? You're keeping yourself there. You just don't want to see. But look, the six of swords is taking, going from rough waters to calm waters. You're moving forward. You are moving forward. You just can't see it. You just can't see it. You almost, the person looks devastated in here, but you're being taken to calmer waters. And absolutely, this is awesome. Now keep that in mind for those thoughts. All right, so let's get an oracle card. These are the Enchanted Map Oracle deck by Colette Baron Reed, which are pretty cool. I've had these for a while. These are really cool. Um, the oracle decks to me are, um, I like to have a lot of different oracle decks. Like now I got myself a moon deck, which I'm going to use tomorrow, I believe. See if it'll fit in the reading, but okay. One more shuffle here. We're going to get a card to give you a little bit more guidance. A little bit more, say, thought for the day. Okay, Spirit. February 6, 2020. What can you tell us about two cards flopped? That one flopped first. The other one popped. So I'm going to take them both. I'm going to take this one first. Oh, it's in reverse. All right. So this one's card number 41, Unexpected Visitors. But it came out in reverse. And they do have reversal readings in it, which I love. Because um, the messages are very, very good. I mean, they're awesome. Okay. Look at that. Open right to it. Mm, they really want you to have this message. So, <laughs> Okay. Unexpected visitors. So, I'm just going to read a little excerpt uh, when it's upright. It says, if you expect the unexpected, you'll be prepared for miracles. But I'm thinking, if you expect the unexpected, I'm thinking that your mind is caught in uh, that illusion of that miracles can't happen, that good things right now can't happen, and that's just not true. Okay. Unpleasant news is only unpleasant when you resist accepting what it is. Sometimes the thing that most desired, sometimes, sorry, let me read that again. Sometimes the thing most desired is kept away from you because it's not for the highest good of you or others. Sometimes there is loss or disappointment due to a destiny whose pattern can't be understood yet. Change is something that may be forced upon you, like bad weather that threatens a boat. Adapt to the shift in conditions and think how beautiful the sky will be afterward. Accept what it is and a more fulfilling path will soon be revealed. Remember that if you expect the unexpected, nothing can come as a shock. I'm going to pull out a couple of... Yesterday I did a reading and I did the... Um animal messages and the frog came out and it was all about adaptation so I'm thinking what it's saying here with that being in this one too you know sometimes there's loss or disappointment getting left out in the cold you know of some sort um, the ten of swords being very hurt by whatever it is loss or disappointment And it's due to a destiny whose pattern can't be understood yet. There's your illusion. You just can't see it yet. Change is something that may be forced upon you. I have a feeling this is something that you really didn't expect to happen. And um, and then there's these doubts in your head. And don't let that keep you back. Yes, it's bad weather, as they say. That threatens a boat. Adapt to the shift in conditions. And think how beautiful the sky will be afterward. Do you, just like I said, that just because 
The moon is out, or there are clouds in the sky. The sun is there. Eventually, the sun will come back out. There will be a sunny day at some point. It's not going to stay cloudy. It's not going to stay nighttime. Unless maybe you're in Alaska. <laughs> but I'm assuming you're not. Maybe you are. So, But still, the sun will come out again sometime. Maybe a long time. <laughs> uh, but remember that if you expect the unexpected, nothing can come as a shock. That's what you manifest. Expect the unexpected. Manifest that. You know, that there are things that are unexpected. You have the tools to manifest it. Just think positive. Think positive. Manifest what you want. And the world can be yours. You know, it could be a beautiful future. Because the card after that, which I love that this popped out. Oh, I can't see the number right. Let me see. So this card here, I don't know if I said it, is card number 41 in the deck. And again, it was in reverse. This one is card number 28, movement. And movement, you are in a time of positive forward motion. Just keep that in mind. You are in a time of positive forward motion. That may be the title of this video. This is a time for positive momentum as you come out of a period of restriction. You're in a stage of new adventure and discovery. You may feel compelled to take a trip, change your hair, or move your home or business. Regardless, you can't remain where you are anymore. You feel compelled to move forward. No matter what your inquiry, you will see your dreams take forms and doors previously shut behind. Oh, I'm sorry. No matter what your inquiry, you will see your dreams take form and doors previously shut begin to open as if by magic. Movement is also a state of mind. The fog lifts and you now know the actions you need to take. This isn't the time for fear. Let it go and move forward. Beautiful. I'm going to leave it at that because you're in a time of positive forward motion. Movement is a state of mind. And that's what I'm hearing here. Indecisiveness. Uh, you're moving forward from that. All right. You're moving forward from the hurt. You're moving forward from perceiving to be left out in the cold. This happened for a reason. This happened for a reason. Okay. And, um, I mean, it's just, it's just. I can't even put it, I can't even express it. <laughs> you heard a time of positive moment. This is perfect for the full moon. So keep that in mind. Regardless of what's happening, step into your power. You can have whatever it is you want. You can manifest that. You can manifest. The world can be yours. Okay? I really hope this helped you. I hope it resonated with, I mean, the positive part resonated. Whatever you may be going through, I hope it resonated with a number of you. Because just know whatever you're going through, it's, it's meant to happen. It may not be pleasant right now, but you just don't, you can't see right now. But it's going to turn out to be actually better. So it's better that this happened because something more positive, I think, is going to be coming to you. So if you like this, please give me a thumbs up. I would appreciate that. And if it resonated and you like this, please subscribe uh, and hit the bell button. So you can get more notifications of any future videos I do. I'm going to try to do this daily if I can. I can't promise that, but I'm going to try. I am going to do a tomorrow new a full moon reading uh, for the full moon energy. And I am trying to get in individual astrological signs also. I'm trying to expand. And I'm also going to try to eventually at some point get into twin flame readings. Um, but I want to do a number of different readings. If you have any that you are particularly interested or pick a card readings. I know some people, a lot of people seem to like those. Um, put it in the comments. So please comment anything you would like or, um, you know, um, likes, dislikes, anything. Okay. So uh, I hope you will return. Thank you for tuning in. And I hope you will return. And tomorrow, uh, tune in for the full moon reading because that can be very informative for the energies coming for Saturday in the full moon. Okay. I think it's a full moon. I don't know if it's full moon in Gemini. I'm not sure. So don't quote me on that. I do have an app on my phone that tells me about the, the faces of the moon. And uh, I should have checked that before I did this. But I will definitely let you know tomorrow. Okay. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful rest of your week. For those of you who work and have weekends off, tomorrow's Friday. <laughs> Friday. Okay. Thank you so much for joining me. Please come back. I would love to have you. Uh, and um, let's see what Spirit has for us tomorrow. Let's see moving forward what we can find out. Okay. Have a great day. Love you. Bye.